as usual, Tony Khan was not bluffing, and they showed up on AEW and dropped the footage from All In. Fellas, how do y'all feel about these developments? Let's go ahead and start with Kiro first. Man, these developments have me fallen <laughs> because what the hell is this? Like, uh, they, they kind of fell on their face and like in the interview with Halvani, CM Punk said this and this and this and this happened. And here they just confirmed it with, a, with the video footage. Like they basically showed what CM Punk has said and uh, they tried to turn it into an angle with FTR. I, I don't know what's going on with this. Look, uh, we talked about this being one of the last chances, not maybe the last chance, but one of the few chances recently, AEW, for them to go over 1 million, or at least close to 1 million, uh, or <laughs> go the opposite way and, you know, become even more second rate. Like, this was a risky move, and I don't think the risk paid off. This was nothing. This was a nothing burger. This felt weird. This felt out of place, unprofessional. It just makes them look second rate. I've, I've kept saying it, man. Just focus on your own show. I've been saying it for three, four years at this point, but they just refused to do it. And they took a risk. I was excited, as you know, in the last video we recorded. I said, let's see what they do. Maybe they can surprise us. Maybe they'll, you know, even if I don't like it, they'll do such a good job or be so controversial that the, the, the company will get a million views. The people will talk about it. Yeah, the people will talk about it, as you two will in a second, but I don't know in what kind of light. But yeah, this just showed me, man. Like, yeah, it confirmed everything Punk has said. Punk is an unprofessional. Jack Perry is an unprofessional. The point was, though, Punk drew ratings. It, at least it was a bigger star, you know what I mean? That, he was the reason why I watched AEW for a while. Jack Perry was nowhere near on that list. And so, yeah, it's just weird stuff, man. I don't know. Who else want to talk about it right now? <laughs> I mean, of course, Jack Perry's a growing, rising star. CM Punk's already established. So, of course, you, well, you guys would want to watch CM Punk over Jack Perry. But I don't think this was unprofessional at all. They kept it clean. They didn't even say CM Punk's name. They put it in an angle saying, I think you were responsible for what happened. And you know what? This is why we're even more mad at you because you tried to ruin our moment. So they made the angle and then they showed what happened just like they said it was going to. Now, this show CM Punk looks unprofessional because he's, he's an old, grown man. And no matter what Jack Perry says, that's no excuse to go backstage and put your hands on somebody. He should have been fired in that moment. No question about it. So... I think this does not paint CM Punk in a bad light. I don't care how he painted it himself and said, these guys came went out there and said something about me, so I choked some guys out. For one, Jack Perry should have been put to sleep if you, I mean, you're a trained MMA fighter and you couldn't even put the guy to sleep. He snatched himself right out and walked away. So I think it does make CM Punk look bad and it makes Jack Perry look like a real one because he stood up in that man's face and he didn't run. He didn't cower or anything. So I respect Jack Perry even more coming out of this. Brian, what do you think? I think this is hilarious, dog. You know what I'm saying? This is funny as hell. They took the time to put this on TV. You know what I'm saying? Wasted time with this. Exactly what Punk said. He talked them out a little bit. This is what you do. And then let's not even get to the part where Tony Khan said he feared for his life. All Punk did was knock over a couple monitors and yell at him and tell him, and tell him that he quits. I don't get the point of this video. This was a complete said. waste of time. You know what he said. This was a complete waste of time, man. This was this but was you know awful. What he said. Okay, and that's fine. Even if he didn't say anything, how does that put Tony Khan's life at fear? Because that was the whole big he deal. Threaten him, dog. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'll kill you. I'll come kill on, bro. You right now, Let me say this right now. Said, if, it was, if it was if it was if it was as serious as Tony Khan said it was, he would have posted that footage as well. There's a reason why that footage is not there, and they cut it out of that footage. That whole thing, th this because company... He doesn't want himself to be involved. This is CM Punk, Jack Perry, and the Young Bucks. You put Tony Khan yeah. in that footage, now he's involved and he's in the mix. Are you going to put uh, Tony Khan in the storyline? No, but you no. should show it all. No, you if you're showing everything. it, you should show it all. You should show it all. No. Yeah, well, why? because now it looks you like you're it now all, it looks you like you're protecting your narrative. Whatever happened with Tony Khan into the TV show as well. No, but no. they did the smart thing and they kept it where they could make an angle mm -hmm. out of it with uh, FTR, but still yeah. show you like you know what you want to hear about what's going on. Nope. We're gonna show you what's going. No, on. they bro. made an angle out of it five years later. Yeah, and the angle and the angle was actually but because it didn't make no sense. How does this fit into the story? Oh, they almost ruined our moment? Dog, are you serious it, right now? It yeah, absolutely fits into the story. How does it FTR, fit into the story? They've been beefing pretty much since FTR came in the company. And he's saying, this was our biggest night of the year, and you guys ruined it because you probably planned this with CM Punk. You know what? 
I mean, how else do you get this shown on TV? I like the way they tied it in because they could have just been like, well, guys, here's the footage. But no, they went, they built the Young Bucks. How about how about more. keep they the footage off TV? How about keep the footage off TV? Because the Why way keep the footage off TV because Everybody the, wanted to see it. No, because the way that the, that it was promoted, it was like Punk did something completely different than what said he said. That. Bro, that's they what they it seemed like that. though. Why show the footage? Why show the footage? Why, why show not? the footage? Why, why talk, about, gonna, why talk uh, about this? Drop, drop it on YouTube. Why, why, why are we taking TV time away from people that actually deserve that it to show this? Time, TV time. What do you mean? To that show this. Take away TV time. Yeah, it They're did. They're building up an angle with this, with this footage. Bro, what angle did they build up? Please tell me. TR versus the Young Bucks. For is, anybody, is anybody going to watch that match after this segment? I, I don't care no. for it. I don't care for no. it. So they failed. I guess they got a couple of eyes. In come this on. show, but come yeah, Kenny, on. Like, please I'm... answer because I see you laughing. You're over there, like I don't even no, know how to answer. You guys are saying nobody's gonna watch the match. You guys are gonna watch the match. <laughs> I'm not going to. No, the AEW fans that always we're, we're, so we're not gonna cover Dynasty. Seven hundred. We're gonna talk about the match, but listen, dog, this doesn't okay. make. I'm doing it because it's a because it's for the business. I'm not doing this because I want to. That's the point. <laughs> this was a complete waste of time. Why are they showing me what I already knew? Because you, you, this is not what you already knew. This is what CM Punk told you. And what they showed you showed you that CM Punk was the aggressor in the situation. And that's fine. And we knew that. Whole thing, he said he approached him. Yeah, he now, he's he's not that. wrong in the whole thing. Let's not do he's that now. In the whole because situation. Jack Perry should have never shot at him on live TV on their biggest pay-per-view of the year. You want to talk on. about moment? Jack Perry. Jack Perry put him. Baby. No. You don't put your hands on another man. And Jack and Jack Perry and. I mean, bro, one of them got to do it at that point. Jake Perry put himself in on, on live TV and took the moment for himself and shot at CM Punk on live TV, and that's the yeah, end. That's, that's what made CM Punk react. Time. You don't make the cup spill a spill when you already know it's at the top. So let, let, let's be real here. If it's at the top for you, that's none of my business. That's not my fault. No, you, you got to take you're, accountability you're for it. You're instigating. You're instigating. That's accountability. Instigating. Oh, this guy is mad. Let me go yeah, talk Paul, shit to him. And he's sure he's not going to hit me. Come on. AEW on WWE TV right now. He Bro. just asked Corey. Who was it? He asked um, one of those guys, are you going to get a tattoo of the WrestleMania attendance number? Because Will Ospreay did it. They, See, AEW, AEW, AEW has been me. shooting on WWE the whole year, bro. Just because they do what? it. CM Just because Punk they do it. in AEW shooting on WWE. So what are we talking about? But no, that's not the point, though. What we're saying is, is that they always, AEW is always that's taking exactly shots constantly. Said. And when WWE responds back, oh, it's a problem. They're wilding, this, that, and the other. No, they deserve to be cooked. How you talk all that crap and you can only get 700K huh. and not well, filling out Max nothing? If slap CM Punk in the face when he came over, uh, that would have been justified because of everything CM Punk was saying over in AEW? That's not how it works, bro. It's a business at the end of the uh, day. What, what do you mean what, how it works? That's not what how it works. About? I, I'm sure that what they did over there, it's it, what the difference between WWE and AEW is actually treated like a business. AEW, it's treated like it, like it's just like what exactly what Punk said. It's not oh, treated. As they're before. not about. They're not trying to make money. So you were it's all for good stage. matches. This is it. Oh, this is, isn't even there. This is it. And you then TK, TK talking about. I've been fearing for my life, but just four monitors fell. Dog, you're in the wrong industry if you're scared about two wrestlers going at it and your wrestlers wrestler. tilt over. What do you mean, bro? What are you talking what about? You? If you're in the wrestling industry, you're not supposed to be fearful about that. Is he a leaf? Is he gonna break with the wind? What's going on, man? Jesus Christ. We don't know what type of trauma or uh, things man. he went on with Julian in his life. I mean, listen, dog. This is the most emotional. Listen, man. I'm. I, listen. You know what? He sucks. But CM Punk is a trained fighter. If he went over there and grabbed Tony Khan, what could Tony Khan do about? And what? The, and did he do that though? Uh, he grabbed Jack Perry, so he's in a man with aggression who's ready to hit anybody. So after you do that to Jack Perry and you look at me and you start coming for me, I think the man was right to be fair for his life. Now, personally, me, I would have knocked him out. But Tony oh. Khan, maybe he just doesn't have that in him. Wow. <laughs> listen, bro, I, listen, this is the most emotion y'all going to get out of me for a minute. But anybody else got any more thoughts, bro? I do, because if I was there and I saw him jack, um, jack up Jack Perry like that, I would have went and chin-checked him right there. Knocked him out. What are you putting right. your man, hands on this man who's, you're twice, over twice his age, so why are you putting your hands on him? Like, what are you doing? Well, all I got to say is looking at it from a business standpoint, CM Punk was the bigger star. That would help Jack Perry get those eyes on him, man. That was the point of him coming to the company. That's what he tried to do, but then he saw that this is kindergarten. Nobody's running the, you know, the 
freaking animal kingdom so he took matters into his own hands i mean he was obviously wanting to leave aew so this was like you know what this is my ticket i'll get out of here like that and you can argue about it being professional or not i look at jack perry man like the stuff you see that he did that happens in aew constantly happens in like indie stuff like um i ran a couple of sh you know wrestling shows very quotation marks uh, indie very very indie um in turkey and this is the same type of drama but like we're talking about millions and millions and millions of dollars here tv deals Wembley was the biggest show and you can't keep that under control what are you doing man what yep. are you doing you can't keep jack perry from freaking exposing the business or like going into business for himself come on like if the rock did it we would be mad at it but we'd say you know rock what i mean he's a freaking rock. let me let me ask you a question exactly. though exactly he's the freaking rock let okay. me ask you a question well, let me ask jack you a question perry, you want to be the rock so you follow in those footsteps what does this do for AEW in the next six months well, let's take a look at the ratings tonight. If more people saw it, who knows who saw these first matches of the angles they put on and they come back next week. So time will tell. And okay. everybody knows exactly what happened because we saw the footage. So wipes away all that doubt. I mean, um, they signed 20 million people. They're going to continue to sign people. It's AEW, never going to work because the show itself sucks. Bash and AEW all WrestleMania weekend. And y'all mad because they showed a little bit of footage. No, I'm not no, mad no, at I'm all. Mad I just think that. I just think it's dumb. There was no point. This they didn't advance the storyline for me. I'm this mad. Was, yeah, was I'm point, mad because what was the they, point of Monday Night Raw? They didn't advance any storylines. I mean, brother, the draft is in less than a month. I didn't expect them to advance many storylines. Wow. Let's be honest. I gave wow, I gave you a valid I gave I gave you a valid reason. I gave you a valid reason. There y'all go. You have <laughs> Brian, Mr. WWE I, Shield. I gave you a valid room. reason. I get, <laughs> bro, I know you're not talking about a Shield because you are the bro, biggest one. Bro, AEW's bad. I'll tell you it's bad. Right before this came on, I said, okay, there's nothing else I want to see on this show. I'm not watching anymore. Yeah, I'm not watching it anymore neither. But I'll be honest, bro. This I'm, was a complete waste of point. my time. You just proved your point. You're not going to watch the show right now, next I, week. Then? AEW's Why in the hole you? right now. They got to yeah. get it together is what I've been saying. Now, y'all know I've been flying the AEW banner all this time, but I'm going to be honest. If it's bad, it's bad. That's my reason for being mad, too. This was your chance to get eyes on there and, like, do something good. But the opening match was generic. What's going to happen after it's generic? You got eyes, you know, catch people, do more stuff. Even this sucked. Like, make a banger main event so that people who came to see this says, like, oh, this guy is in the main event, this is happening in the main event, let me watch the rest of the show. They, they just missed the chance. That's what makes me mad, man. I just want to know, bro. I just want to know, like, really, what was the point of showing this? That That's just my, like, you didn't have to take away TV time for this. You could have went on YouTube. Bro, you you could have went on X. Time. This is the reason, like, people are going to watch this. Bro, they're going to spike a rating for a week, and it does nothing for them next week. Ryan, you How said you this. Know? We'll see. You said this before. It's desperate. And if it, it's it, desperate... It went... It's How are they gonna sell themselves as like a big wrestling show? It's all about perception, and this is bad for hey, them. Man. And I and listen, bro. I, I may be a little more on the WWE side, but I like AEW enough to travel for their shows, go to their shows. But when you do stuff like this, dog, I gotta homies. call you out on it, man. <laughs> you just wanna chill with the homies. <laughs> but you know what? I learned from Dragon Ball Z: desperate times call for desperate measures. So I don't blame them for trying. But they should have thread something through the night. Said, yeah. oh, in the main event, we're going to have this to try to make people stick around for after that. But they, they, they blew their chance. They blew their chance. And it's a young company, you know. I hope they get another chance and get hot as they were before. But Big Tony's going to have to go for it. Agreed. Well, y'all. Cut it off at agreed. <laughs>